we increased the lead cash transfer budget from 50 million Ghana cities in 2016 to 720 million Ghana cities in 2024. We indexed the lead benefits to inflation for the first time in our history. Beneficiaries of the Ghana School Feeding Program increased from 1 million 671,777 children in 8,326 public basic schools in 2016 to currently 4,029,580 children covered by 10,832 public basic schools. The feeding grant cost per meal per child per day under the school feeding program also increased from 80 pesos in 2016 to one Ghana city 50 pesos in 2024. NHIS expanded its coverage to include childhood cancers, prostate cancer, mental health care, annual health checks, dialysis services, and hydroxia for sickle cell patients. The capitation grant increased per recipient from five Ghana cities in 2016 to 15 Ghana cities in 2024. Year-on-year -year total enrollment under the free senior high school TVET programs increased from 813,448 uh, students in the 2016-2017 academic year to 1,488,575 in 2023 2023-2024 academic year, an increase of 83% over the period. Government increased the number of public astrotests across the country from three in 2016 to over 150 as of June 2024. And only yesterday, government introduced a free dialysis program for all patients across our health centers providing dialysis services. We could not have done all this and many more without the invaluable contribution of the Ghanaian people. Indeed, all things have worked together for our good, as the Bible says. I sincerely want to thank all Ghanaians for their enormous sacrifices and contributions to the implementation of our economic reform program. But in doing this, I also want to assure them that this economy is not going back. The economy is going stronger and stronger by the day and it will even be stronger over the next few years as government implements far-reaching policies that will lead our growth, particularly on the industrial components of our economy. This economy is strong. This economy will serve everybody. And this economy will inure to the benefit of all Ghanaians. As we go to elections, in four days. It's my belief that the Ghanaian people will be inspired by the achievements we have chopped together on the economic front, the sacrifices people have made to bring this economy to this level is so much appreciated by government. And we want to continue to give you hope that the future is brighter than ever. We will do it together. We will sail through together. When I took over as Minister for Finance, I assured the people of Ghana that I will not be fiscally reckless, that I will stay within the budget, that I will implement the IMF program, that I will complete the debt restructuring program and that this economy will be brought back into winning ways 
with the support of His Excellency the President. I believe we have done that. And the economy is going to move forward for the benefit of all the people of Ghana today and in the future. Thank you.